So my name is Joshua. I work at Water Avenue Coffee. And today we'll be doing a Chemex of the El Salvador Amonsano. It's a red ribbon pulp natural coffee from El Salvador. And I'll be starting with 31 grams of coffee ground at just finer than a drip coffee grind setting. So I have a pre-wet filter in my Chemex and tear it out the scale just to make sure we're at 31 grams. I have a Hario kettle of coffee. That's about at 192 right now. And settle the grounds here. And at first, I'm just going to pour about 40 grams of water in, it's about a 10% bloom, and leave it there for about 25 seconds to saturate all the grounds. Go in a swirling motion and swirl outward. And you'll see lots of blooming, lots of bubbling up. You want to get all the ground saturated so that it disperses better when you do the continuous pour. Now for the pour. Good pour. Steady stream and in small concentric circles. It's very important you do the concentric circles so as to disperse the turbulence of the water and not break up any of the grounds that leads to over extraction. Throughout this, you're aiming to hit 450 grams of water. And you want to finish the pour at about 1 minute and 20 seconds. There we are. <clears throat> You're looking for the pour to finish within about three minutes, uh, give or take about 10 seconds. It all depends on the density of the coffee and the quality of the pour. So we're approaching three minutes now, and I'm looking at the extraction, and I see this wall of coffee all around the edges. That means that when I was pouring in the, slow cons the circles, it dispersed the turbulence and didn't hit the side and wash all that down. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see the bare sides on the Chemex. That means that too much has gone down to the bottom. And we're about at three minutes. Take my preheated cup, pour it directly into the serving vessel. And that's our demonstration of a single-serve Chemex.